so they are worked in the field. You can see, look, they're all, all the old ones are nice and steady. I know we've got Debbie. Now, Debbie's dog, that's the one I judged at the breed confined, at the breed confined wasn't it? Or minor breed. Debbie run that dog in one day and she cleaned up. <laughs> She came third, was it third in the novice, won the open, and had best hunting dog. She couldn't carry all the prizes back home, could you? And she couldn't get her in in the car either. <laughs> so, ladies, what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know what you're going to do. I'll do the commentary. So we're going to take Judy up. We're going to take all the dogs up. We're not going to hunt them too much into the... Because the arena's now been run over by loads of dogs. So we've got Derry. We've got Judy. Who else have we got? Willow and Flo. Willow, Flo, Derry and Judy. So Judy has won an open minor breed working test. So she's pretty good. So's, so's Judy, isn't she? So Judy has as well. So in their own right, they don't compete against Springers and Cockers. They compete in minor breed working test contests, which is plumbers, fields, a lot of dogs you, um, you see in the pavilion. They've got a more bouncier gait than the Springer Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel. And they do air scent more. But the wind, the scent in here, the scent in here today is horrendous. We also, do you see that then? She got the right side of the wind and she winded it 10 feet away. Well done, Derry. A happy dog, a bouncy dog. She's enjoying herself. Yeah, okay. So, with Willow, Willow's going to go over the jump. Obviously, these dogs have to take on obstacles the same as any of the gun dogs. Ah, she says, oh, well, there's one over there, she said. There's one over there. No. Derry got that. Now you can see that Willow isn't docked like the other dogs. Is that just for showing? So you can only show with a full tail. Because it's a dual purpose. You, oh, right, okay. So as it's a dual purpose dog, you can actually show. One of the few dogs then you can show. But no, she's not been docked. I can see she's not been docked because she's got a long tail. You said. Didn't you, I've said this so many times today, didn't you say sit? <laughs> the trouble is, well, that's the, um, that's one of the best pickups I've seen today, that. Right. So they do they do lose a little bit of concentration. They haven't got that same drive, I suppose, as, now you've torn it, you've hung it on the fence, haven't you? you can, no, you couldn't do that if you tried. So, we're just gonna encourage a dog to go out, make the dog succeed. Never end on a bad note, always positive. So we can let the dog hunt the area, Ah. Oh look, there it is. No, I don't want that one. Yes, I do. Come on, over you come. Oh, that was a tall jump, wasn't it? Well done, Willow. They, they are in the pavilion. They will be in the parade in a moment. They are in the, the pavilion, the sport dog pavilion. 
for the next two days. So if you want to know more about this breed of Springer Spaniel, and it is the Welsh Springer Spaniel, please go and see Tina or any of her team that are there because they know far more about the breed than me. That's it. She's winded it now, isn't she? Scenting, you can see, can you see how far away she winded that? She's not looking for it, she's hunting for it, and she, she winded that, she picked up the scent on the wind. She's using her natural ability, and that's why we use them to search for game. Come on, Judy. Over you go. That was a good jump for a little dog. It's there, look, it's stuck in there, Judy. That's Tina's fault, she threw it there. Well done, Judy. So, they are enthusiastic. Too enthusiastic at times.